I became very friendly with Muhammad Ali in the 70s. And Muhammad Ali worked his butt off. And I saw it firsthand. And I remember that there was a sports writer that was there in the gym when he was working out and he was doing sit-ups. And they asked him, how many sit-ups do you do? And he said, I don't start counting until it hurts. Now think about that. He doesn't start counting his sit-ups until he feels pain. That's when he starts counting. That is working hard. I believe that the man to beat me he hasn't been born yet. I'll be champion. I can stay in the ring 10 more years easy, I figure. I told you I'm the real champion. I told you I'm the champion of the world. All I can bow. All my critics call I'm the world champion. I'm the champion of the world. All you suckers who write the ring magazine. Boxing no sale. All of you suckers bow because the stage was set. You made him great. You made him a bad Joe Wood. You made him a hard puncher. But I want everybody from this moment on to recognize me as the scholar of boxing. If you want to know any damn thing about boxing, don't go to no boxing experts in Las Vegas. Don't go to no Jimmy the Greek. Come to Muhammad Ali. I am the man. <laughs> As fast as I was, man, I'm so fast. Last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. It was Muhammad Ali. For me, he was a big inspiration. He was my idol. This was one of my dreams to meet him, but it will not happen. But what he did for in the ring, outside ring, nobody will reach halfway of what he did. He put it color, not for one country, put it color for the whole world and what he stood for. So. He's a big inspiration to, to take after. I'm gonna float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. His hands can't hit what his eyes can't see. So that's what happened. I'm the heavyweight champ of the world and I don't have to talk no more and say I'm the greatest because people tell me I'm the greatest. Me, fuck me. Um, Ali's a giant. No way, there's no way the buddies can match him. He'll die for this shit, he'll die. I'm not gonna die for that. Ali's a savage, he's an animal. He's a different breed of person. It's not like us. I must be the greatest. I told the world. I talk to God every day. If God's with me, can't nobody be against me. I shook up the world. Life is real short. Allah has power of all things. If you believe in him, nothing, even George Foreman, will look like a baby. It wasn't a close fight, was it? He is global. He is, he is the man. Muhammad Ali was a guy that done what had not been done before changed the face, not, not only the face of his game, but the face of the world, you know, he was, a, he was outspoken, he fought, he fought for what he believed in, and that, uh, he was charismatic, he, 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 he was a, a legend, a hero, and I, I, I looked up to him, one of my first heroes was Muhammad Ali. I had a wrestle with an alligator, that's right, I have wrestled with an alligator, I done tussled with a whale, I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. He is a hero. He's been an inspiration of mine for many years. I first met him when I was six years old uh, in New Zealand. Put me on his lap. I got a picture of it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm crying because I don't want to be, you know, I don't know that I'm in the presence of greatness. And he's kind of putting his fist in my face. And I grew up loving his showmanship, loving his... Um, his humanity, his humility, loving his athletic prowess, loving his coolness, um, and his swag. Everybody stop talking now, attention. I told you, all of my critics, I told you all that I was the greatest of all time. When I beat Thunder Listen, I told you today, I'm still the greatest of all time. Never again defeat me. Never again say that I'm going to be defeated. Never again that make me the underdog until I'm about 50 years old. Right. Then you might get me. Am I the greatest of all time?